Hello friends, in today's video we are going to learn how to link Excel sheets together. We are going to discuss two ways of linking data in Excel from one sheet to another. Hello once again friends. In today's video, we will be learning two ways of linking data in Excel from one sheet to another. The first method is how to link data within separate sheets which are in different Excel files. And the second method is how to link data within separate sheets which are in same Excel file. So let us proceed ahead and learn the first method. So friends, here I am in a folder called multiple sheets. In this, I am having uh, three Excel sheets. I have already made some rough data in this Excel sheet just to save the time. The basic fundamental is that uh, I have some sales figures of exports as well as sales figures of domestic for some particular company. And I need to consolidate this data of exports as well as domestic so that I can see this entire data in another file at a glance. So let us proceed ahead and see how it is done. First of all, let me open up the sales figure for the exports, this file. So here I am, this, uh, this is just for example purpose. So these are the export sales of a particular company for the months of January 2017 up till September 2017. So you can see the figures. For January 2017, this is $300,000. For Feb 2017, $325,000. For March, $310,000 and so on. So let me now open the sheet for the domestic figures. So this is the domestic sales uh, sheet in which the corresponding figures are $100,000 for the month of January. $125,000 for the month of February and so on up till September 2017. So these are two different sheets, one for domestic sales and one for export sales. And now I want to have a consolidated figure for the sales for the month of January, for the month of February and so on, so that each month has complete sales figure for the domestic as well as for exports. So I have made a rough format of what I need in this consolidated sheet. So this is the sheet in which uh, this is showing total sales and this I've already filled in the months. So here I need to input the data for domestic, here I need to input the data for exports and here I have just put in the formula which calculates this cell plus this cell and it puts it here. You can see here it is C is equal to C3 plus D3. Similarly, this one, this is equal to, this is equal to C4 plus D4 and so on. So now the basic thing which I need to do is to link this sheet, which is consolidated sheet, to link each and every cell of this sheet of domestic with the domestic sheet and to link each and every cell of this exports column with the export sheet. So in order to do that, I just go back to this domestic sheet first of all. Here is the data. So this is the figure for January 2017. So I just right click on this cell and I copy it. Now I go to this sheet, consolidated sheet. I come to this data for uh, January 2017. I do right click here. I do paste special. And I come here at the down, this is paste link. So I'll paste this link and you can see in the, in the top. So this cell is having the formula which is equal to the sales figure domestic sheet. This is the name of the sheet which is having the domestic sales figure. Sales figure domestic dot xlsx. In this, in the domestic sheet, there is a sheet number one which is the reference uh, for that sheet uh, like this and the cell references dollar c dollar three 
So let me go back and check this dollar C dollar three in the domestic sheet in the sheet number one. So I go to this sheet. You see here the sheet number one, and this is dollar C and dollar three. So this particular cell of domestic sales sheet, sheet number one, has been linked in the consolidated sheet, which is here. Okay, so now I need to fill up all these figures for the months of February to September. So the easiest way to do is I go back to the domestic sheet. I copy all these figures because these are also from February to September. So I just copy. I do right click. I do copy. I go back to this sheet, consolidated sheet, and I come here to the first column, February two thousand seventeen. I do paste special and I paste link. So all the figures, all the values which were present in the domestic sheet for these months, they have been linked here. Similarly, if I need to have the figures for exports, then I go back, I open the exports sheet, I select all these figures, I copy them, I come back to the consolidated sheet and I do paste special and I do paste link. So you see now this total this is reflecting the total of C3 plus D3. So at a glance I can see that the company's total sales which included domestic plus exports for the month of January 2017 was $400,000. So I just save this And now, just uh, if you will notice, uh, let us uh, see this column, this particular cell. Sorry. So let us see this particular cell for January 2017. So this is hundred thousand dollars. So for domestic. So if I go back to the domestic sheet, and instead of a hundred thousand dollars, I put in two hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Once I change this particular value in this cell, then the value in the consolidated sheet which I have linked to this sheet will automatically change. So earlier this was $100,000 and now I have changed it to $250,000. So I go back here and you see here it is $250,000. And you can check the cell reference also that is this value is equal to the value which is in the Excel worksheet sales figure domestic dot XLS X in that there is a sheet number one and the cell reference is dollar C dollar three. Similarly, if I go to the exports one, you see here there is a value of three hundred thousand dollars for the month of January 2017. So I go back to exports. This is exports and this is three hundred thousand dollars. In this place, I put seven hundred and fifty thousand dollars. So since the corresponding cell in the consolidated sheet is linked with this particular cell so there also in the consolidated sheet the figure will change to seven hundred and fifty thousand dollars you see here so this becomes a total of this so friends this is how we are linking the sheets just to recap what we do is we just go to any sheet where we want to copy and link that data we just right click we copy that data and then we come back to the sheet where we want to paste this data. Let us say I want to paste that data here. I do paste special and it's very simple. I just go all the way down there is paste link. So whatever value is in that particular cell, it gets copied here and it is linked to that particular sheet so that whenever I change the data in that sheet, the data in this sheet will be automatically updated. So friends, this is how we link the data in different Excel workbooks. This was the first method. Now there is a second method in which we are linking the data within different sheets, but they are in the same workbook. So let us see how it happens. So friends, we just now learned about the first method in which 
we saw how to link data within separate sheets which are in different excel files so the second method is how to link data within separate sheets which are in the same excel file so let us see how it is done so friends here i am in the folder single sheet this is just the name of a folder and here i am having an excel file by the name of total sales so let me open this and show it to you here also the format is almost the same the only difference is that in the previous example i was using different excel workbooks in this example i am using the same one excel workbook but i have different sheets here you can see at the bottom these different sheets are the sales for the domestic sales for exports and this is the sheet for the total sales so let us see how we link the data from these two sheets into this sheet so first of all i go to the domestic sheet i just copy this particular cell data and i come to the total sales i come here to the january figure because here i have copied the january 2017 figure and i do the right click i do paste special and i do paste link and then i come back all the way here i do copy i come back to total sales i do paste special and paste link so all the data in this domestic sheet for the month from january 2017 to september 2017 has now been linked in this sheet and you can check the cell reference that is this is equal to the domestic sheet which is this you see domestic it is written here and this also domestic and the cell reference is dollar c dollar 3 cell reference is dollar c dollar 3 now let me check it for any other uh, uh, cell also let me see the figure for march 2017 so this is 110000 dollars so you see here it is in the domestic sheet and c5 in the domestic sheet and c5 110000 dollars and similar would be for the exports so i just come here i copy all this i go to the total sales this is exports i do paste special paste link and it is done and this is obviously showing me a total of uh, these two sales that is 100000 plus 300000 dollars which is equal to 400000 so let us say if i need to change the figures of domestic and exports so domestic is 200000 dollars and exports i change it to 500000 so now the total in my consolidated sheet should be 500000 dollars plus 200000 that should be 700000 dollars you see so friends in the second method we can link the sheets within the same excel workbook friends i hope uh, you have enjoyed the small video on how we can uh, link the data in excel sheets whether they are in different excel workbooks or they are in same excel workbook thank you so much for watching this video i will be uploading a new video soon bye for now friends in order to watch all my latest videos do subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscribe button and do click this bell icon to get notifications whenever i publish a new video